In this video, we will learn about perpendicular lines in the coordinate plane. First, let's remember what perpendicular lines are. They're two lines that intersect specifically at a right angle or a 90 degree angle, which we notate with the little square symbol. In the coordinate plane, perpendicular lines have a relationship as far as their slopes. So the slopes of perpendicular lines have something special going on. So if we look over at the coordinate plane and look at these two perpendicular lines, let's look at their slopes to figure out what's going on here. Let's start with the line that has a positive slope that's going up from left to right. If we pick out two points on the line and figure out the slope, we see that delta y is 2 and delta x is 1, which means that the slope is 2 over 1, or 2. Now if we go to the other line and pick out two points, this line will have a negative slope because it's going down from left to right. Delta x is 2 and delta y is negative 1. That means the slope is negative 1 over 2 or negative a half. So if we look at these two resulting slopes, we have negative a half and positive 2, or positive 2 over 1. This shows the general relationship between the slopes of perpendicular lines. The slopes are always going to be opposite reciprocals. So that means two things are going on. They're opposites. That means one will be positive and one will be negative. They're also reciprocals, meaning that the fraction has been flipped. So 1 over 2 becomes 2 over 1 in our other slope. So the slopes of 2 and negative 1 half are opposite reciprocals. This means if you know the slope of one line, you can always figure out the slope of a line perpendicular to it by figuring out the opposite reciprocal. So for example, if we had a line that was a slope of 1, the perpendicular line to that line would have a slope of negative 1. Now, in this case, it seems like we just did the opposite, but really, 1 is just 1 over 1. So when we flip the fraction and do the reciprocal, we still end up with just 1. Another example is if we started with 3 fourths as a slope, the perpendicular line would have a slope of negative 4 over 3. Flip the fraction, change the sign. If you know this, you'll be able to work pretty easily with perpendicular lines in the coordinate plane. Just don't forget both the opposite and the reciprocal part.